Hey guys, happy Friday. Today is November 10th. We made it to the weekend. The salon that we're going to is Hair and Joy, which is based in Hongdae. So from what I read online, they speak English very well, which is a plus for me. And two is they know how to do a lot of Western style haircuts as well. So that's also good. But uh, I think for today, hopefully they'll accept walk-ins and then we'll head there. And then later on today, I'm meeting my friend Peter and Alice at the Jim Jim Bang, which is a Korean spa. So two firsts for me, one, getting my hair cut. Two, Jim Jim Bang, if both of those can happen today. So I've always wanted to see uh, Jim Jim Bang in real life. I've always seen them in Korean drama. So today will be that experience. So Here and Joy is actually located on the back side. Um, you probably will see the sign or the pink sign. But the entrance, there's a stairway inside the building on the back. Right across from the street from Uniqlo. So we're inside Here and Joy right now. Uh, maybe an inch, inch or two, like like this much. Mm -hmm. You turn this way. Yeah, I turn I turn my hair like this, natural. When did you last do that? Uh, a month ago. One month. Mm -hmm. So this much hair. Mm, okay. <laughs> hey guys, so right now I'm at Hair and Joy getting or uh, preparing to get my hair cut. Uh, this place is very well known for a lot of foreigners to go to, but a lot of their staff speaks English. So we're getting our hair shampooed right now and then I'm going to get it cut in a bit. So my hairstylist today is Liam right here and he's gonna cut my hair. I'm just gonna set up. Do you think maybe a two block? Cut is better? Yeah, maybe two cut. Two cut. So, yeah. Yes. I guess I'll get a Korean hairstyle cut when I'm here. friend Peter I'm actually gonna go get bingsu at Thanks Nature Cafe uh, this cafe is really unique but I'll show you the reason why this cafe is really unique we're gonna get some bingsu and then head in so Thanks Nature Cafe is located at the basement level so you have to go in <laughs> and they have their menu right here so we're gonna get this collaboration bingsu So this thing too is pretty good. The ice is like soft like snow. You get a layer of condensed milk. The fruit is like fresh and good. And the melon's really good too. If I had to compare La Palm to this, this is probably just on equal levels as well. La Palm is good for a matcha lip. This one's fruit bingsu. Yeah, until we finish. Now I'll show you why there are so many sheep here in this cafe. 
resort so I think it's nature cafe so outside the cafe after you get your drinks and bingsu and waffles whatever you like to eat you can go outside and go see their sheep so they have two right here right outside you can pet and watch them eat so they have two names the male is honey female is sugar perfect for a cafe but yes, those chocolate chip looking things are its poop. Now we're heading to Garak Fish Market to meet my friend in Songpa. So now we're at Alice's and Peter's place. And then we're gonna head to a Jinjinbang. Jinjinbang later today. But for dinner we have KFC, Korean fried chicken. <laughs> Potato? Potatoes and um, chicken gizzard. Chicken, oh, chicken yeah, gizzard. Fried chicken gizzard. And then here I brought the um, real hot Cheetos from the US. They never tried this one yet. Double the hotness. <laughs> and I already know Peter doesn't really like spicy food. <laughs> mm. It's good. Too spicy? Okay? Yeah, it's okay. <laughs> this one's finger licking. It gets hotter as you eat it. Mm. <laughs> no, at, no, at first, um, it tastes like something weird. Mm -hmm. And then, by the time when I finish one one chip, I just my finger just automatically goes mm -hmm. to the next one. <laughs> oh. We are heading towards Garden Five Spa. The spa in Garden 5. We can rent a Nintendo DS. <laughs> for an hour. Everything costs money at Jim Jim Bang. You can rent Nintendo DS one hour, two hour, and additional hour. Additional hour, 3001. What's this one? To cafe and for a uh, rental all day, mm -hmm. 10,000 won. And for a couple, 16,000. And uh, one for two hours is 5,000. Oh, nothing's free here. Even if you want to play games, chess, 2,500 won. Hey, there's, there's a saying like, <laughs> there's no free things in the world. That is true, there's no free things in the world. No. <laughs> Pretty much everybody's complaining how hot it is. Whoa. So we're in the light and salt room. And it's probably like, I don't know, 90 degrees in here. There's a, a radiation of, how, how, the, how is it called? Infra, infrared, mm -hmm. kind of type of light, but we can not see. Oh. In, it, it's not, so here in the Jinjinbang, you can also buy snacks here. They have ramen here, they have dumpling, hot dog, well this one says gyro tortilla kebab. And then they have chips and stuff, just like a convenience store. So I forgot my wallet and he has no cash. But apparently you can use, what was it, which part? Or we can use our keys and they'll be charged to our tab and then we just pay at the front later. Yeah. Nice. Good car. Oh, this Bingsu is pretty big. I thought it was going to be a small Bingsu. Here we have mango Bingsu but it looks more like shaved ice because they sliced all the, the mango ice. And it comes with 
Almond? Almond. Almond. Mango. Mango. Mango shaved ice. I guess this one's not operating. This is operating. Oh, let's go in. Huh? Through the underdog door. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Let's go in this one. Do you need one of these mats to yeah, sit? Maybe. Oh. So this is Korean traditional pine tree sauna. So we got our key, and so we used our key to get our shoes out from this locker. Let me try more. We are having technical difficulties with our key. So it's because we had a tab of our bingsu and our shike. Yeah. Well, once you pay the tab, you can get your your shoes and stuff and leave. We're back from the Jinjinbang. It was actually a really fun experience. So we went to. Uh, we went to many types of rooms, from hot rooms, to rooms that smell like pine, to cold rooms, to the Korean oven, the Korean pizza oven, um, that made us sweat a lot, but it was a good experience. You can pretty much relax and hang out there all day if you wanted to, get, get a massage from a masseuse or stay in the massage chairs. Uh, they also have tons of food options that you could see from dessert to ramen to even tokatsu if you wanted some regular hot food. But for the most part, I believe it was about 15,000 won. So for that price, I would be willing to go back. It's actually really cheap to, uh, to relax at like a sauna like that. Um, but what I'm going to do now is get ready to go sleep. And then we'll catch you guys in the morning. Bye. <laughs>